before we get started today, guys, I just wanted everyone to know that uh, Mind Your Own is a YouTube channel that does not give financial advice. Everything that we do in our videos is for entertainment purposes only and our own financial experiences. Your experiences could be way different than mine. Please do your own research. Do not follow me or anyone else blindly. Let's get into this video. Hello, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Mind Your Own. Today we're going to be talking about a uh, personal goal that we set out for when we started uh, crypto mining. And we finally have achieved that goal. And that is to reach the one giga hash mark. It is something that uh, I really wanted to achieve. Um, it didn't come easy and it didn't come cheap. That's for sure. Um, we've been crypto mining now for about, uh, I'm going to say about nine months total. Um, I started last year with uh, one gaming PC. I bought a gaming PC uh, workstation. Um, it, it was a computer that I needed for my personal company. And... Uh, I bought it at Micro Center. It was a pre-built, had the 5900X, and a uh, 3070 non-LHR NVIDIA card. And uh, I, I, I got interested in crypto mining because I was trading it. Um, I was real heavy in the stock market last year. And did a lot of day trading. And I've seen people talking about crypto, and Ethereum, and Bitcoin, and, and Dogecoin, and, and all these different crypto coins. And I said, you know what? Let's try trading some crypto. See if the strategy that I use for my personal strategy that I use for stock market trading could apply in crypto. And what I found was, is crypto moves much slower which that's fine, especially for an inexperienced trader. Um, not that you can't get dumped on, but in the stock market, you can swing by a whole lot very fast. Um, and it kind of bored me. Crypto trading did bore me. I'm not even going to, not going to lie about that. It, it seriously bored me. Um, but I started learning the basics of crypto and how, crypto worked. Um, the thing that really, you know, made me go head first into crypto was just how corrupt the stock market is. I mean, it, it, it's seriously corrupt. Not that crypto's not. It's very corrupt also. Um, but there's a lot of big players in the stock market, and they can... They can change things on you real fast. You know, I was in the in the GameStop stocks and AMC's, and, and I made a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. Also, lost lost a lot of money because the man told me that I was going to lose money, and these exchanges decided that they wanted to just shut you down and stop you from trading when you were making too much money, which is a whole other conversation for another day. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm salty about it. I could have made a lot more money. But for an exchange to control you, control when you trade and how much you trade, that's not capitalism. And I'll leave it at that. So I, I dwindled down my stock market accounts and uh, I started investing pretty heavily in crypto. I made a lot of money on Dogecoin last year. Um, I made a decent amount of sh money on sheep and a little money in Ethereum and, and Bitcoin. But I started trading heavier in, in crypto markets as I was learning. And kind of the premise behind the whole mind your own, when I was thinking of a name for our YouTube channel, was I liked the idea of mining my own crypto 
and then trading it, trading it up. Um, in fact, I found like, uh, and this is just a prime example, I took $60 in Ergo, and I made $800 before it was all over with, with sheep, with that same $60 in Ergo. So it's basically buying one crap coin and trading it for a crap coin that had more hype. And that's kind of where I'm so optimistic, where I, where I, I don't want to say optimistic. I trade what's doing best at the time. Hoddle, bad. And I'm just going to say that. There's some people out there that will hodl till that stuff hits zero or damn close to it. That's not this guy. You make money when the opportunity presents itself because you never know when that opportunity will present itself again. It could be years. If you want to sit there on the sidelines and wait to make money again, off of something that you lost money on sounds like a bad, bad risk. Like I said in other videos before, Raptorium is a prime example. When that bad dude was up to seven, eight cents, I should have sold. I was busy, family things going on, and, and I didn't get the chance to do it. But over the past couple months, We've watched it just slowly decline, kick myself in the butt. Now I'm at the point where, guess what? I got a hodl. The only people that usually say hodl are the people that lost their tail. So don't ever get, uh, don't ever get caught up in the hodl. You know, the Wall Street bets guys, don't get caught up in that. Only thing you do to follow Wall Street bets is where their next pump's at. Get in on the pump because you're going to get dumped. And that's just a fact. Okay? So, but one of the things that we set out to do was we, I, I wanted to hit that, that one giga hash. I started out with that little gaming PC and I mined with it for four months. I only got payouts once a month. And I started seeing it. I'm like, wow. Like, if I could, if I could 10 times that. That's free crypto for trading up. I don't trade down in crypto. I trade up in crypto. And, you know, Ethereum, Bitcoin, the stable coins, you can take those coins and buy anything you want. So I started out with a my first mining rig, which was, like I said, just a simple 3079 LHR, 5900X. Then I ran with it, and I started holding that Ethereum for a few months. And then I would trade it into something else, make a little money, take my profits, and run. I saved that money up because what I set out to do is I wanted to see if I could do this without investing other money to start a crypto mining farm. I saved that up, and I added a few hundred bucks. But my first rig that I actually bought was a guy that was selling uh, five Polaris cards. He had five Polaris cards, uh, two RX 580s, and three 480 Red Devil, eight gigabyte cards, all, all eight gigabyte. And he was selling them with a RevTech motherboard for 1500 bucks. I ended up talking him down to 1200 bucks, I believe it was, 1300 bucks, and I bought it. And when I first set this thing up, I had no clue what I was doing. I was completely lost. And I started watching a lot of videos, like most of, uh, most of us out there. Now, I have a little bit of experience in, in computer hardware, so it made it a little easier. I used to build computers back in the late 90s. 
and uh, early 2000s. Of course, technology's changed a huge amount since then, but I still got the basics of it. So with that one little mining rig, that bumped us up. Let's see if we can let's see if we can go back into ether mine here where our payouts are. I wanted to keep it all in one place and be able to have a history and a record of it, which come tax time, that's huge. So we go all the way back to June. June twenty seventh. And right here was my uh these are what I mined with a single 3070. That's what, that's not what I was paid out then, but that's what that Ethereum would be worth now. And I believe I was right around a 120 a month is what I was mining with a single 3070. And then you can see right here, in July is when things started ramping up. And I believe I got that rig right here around the beginning beginning of August and we started climbing from there but you'll see how the difficulties changed just since August because it took me 403.5 hours to get a payout of 335 bucks and then I started adding cards you'll see here Took me 218 hours to get to 335, and, and that probably wasn't 335 back then. Um, but as you see, the time started shortening, and this is as we started adding on. Um, I brought, I bought a 3090, a 3080, um, a 3070 Ti, 3060 Ti, and then the 6600 XTs came out. And they really intrigued me. They intrigued me for the fact that they weren't real high in hash power, but they were really good and low wattage. And there was nothing else available. So I started buying what I could find. New egg, you name it, I was buying them up. Didn't care. I paid more than I probably should have. I had to do a bunch of uh, motherboard combos and all that crap. Um, but eventually I pulled it off. Um, we got nine of them as of right now. I don't know where those are going to go in the future, but I can tell you they're paying for themselves at a relatively low power cost. But as you see, time went on. These were my weekly payouts. This one right here was a lot bigger because I refused to pay the gas fees back in November when the gas fees were ridiculous. I just let it keep stacking. And... That's what, in fact, that payout was actually like 900 and something. This is after, this is what it's worth right now. That 900 and some dollars is only worth 783 right now. Um, and as we went up, what you see back here, 131, this is the same, same hash rate that I had before. It just shows you how much time it's taken me to get to this. We have paid off a couple of rigs now, and we are at our one that's showing one point one full side, and this is this is what we're using. We got our AMD rig; it's got a three hundred fifty one mega hash. We got our Giganto rig; these are our sixty six hundred XTs. Um, they're putting out about two hundred sixty. AMD rig. This has got the uh, five Polaris cards, two 5700 XTs, and a 6800. Um, our PC. This right here is the Asus Road Strix LHR 3080. This thing's averaging about, uh, when we're not using it in OBS or anything, this thing's averaging about 72 mega hash, 74. I've seen it get as high as 80. So that was pretty impressive. Um, our RevTech board, this has got all of our NVIDIA cards on it. We've got a 3090 on here, a 3080, a 3070 Ti, a 3060 Ti, uh, LHR, 
and a 1066 gig hard drive. And that's giving us our 422.3 mega hash. This was, uh, this was a goal of mine. So you figure in six to eight months, we were able to accomplish this. We will be talking about what our plans are for Ethereum 2.0 later this week. I'll be doing a video on that. And I'd like to get some opinions uh, in the comments about what your plans are for Ethereum 2.0. Um, I'm up in the air. I'm really, I'm, I'm walking the, the high wire right now trying to figure out what it is that I want to do. Just not quite sure. Um, let's take a look at our rigs here. So we got five work gears. This is our single 5950X. Um, we've got it mining Monero. Here is our AMD rig. We've got some conservative overclocks in here. I did this because I was having a stability problem when I was mining uh, Monero Ocean on this. So I took Monero Ocean out. I will probably be cranking these cards back up, especially the 5700 XTs. One of my questions, guys, while I'm on here, because I'm going to be... Uh, going to be doing redoing a couple of these 580s what's your watts at the wall that's what i want to know watts at the wall i know the software changes the software isn't correct what i find strange is, is just recently in hive os the wattages have changed on the 580s have they finally corrected this because this used to be back in the, used to be reading like 85 watts in the software, and now it's reading 123, and I noticed this in the last update. So, if you know something about this, leave a comment down below, because I'm, I'm really curious. We are going to be redoing this one right here. It needs new fans. Uh, we got, it's got one fan that's stop and go. And one of them that's wobbling pretty hard. We do got the new fans. We want to get it taken out of the rig um, and get it done this week. But just curious, what, what's the lowest wattage at the wall that you were able to, re to achieve with the 580? And, and even, even the 480, I'd be real curious. Um, we are going to do a test at the wall because I really want to know. Because these cards, they're up in the air to me. Not quite sure what I plan to do with these in the future. They're paid for. There's some things in the back of my mind that, that I've got going on with this. This is our Giganto rig. These things right here are just steady Freddy. I've got them clocked conservatively. I do want to see what one of these get at the wall for my own personal test, which I do plan to have one coming up here in a, in a future video. In fact, when I pull that 580 out and I shut that rig down, there is a 6600 XT in that rig. I may, uh, I may test that one while we're doing the 580. But this is about it, guys. I wanted to, uh, I just wanted to show that it is possible to get to that one giga hash mark um, in a short amount of time. Now. Granted, it costs a lot of money. It does. And I'm pretty much all in. In fact, I, I am not adding to my rig until I decide what I'm going to do. Uh, the dominoes are starting to fall. And I'm seeing things in the market. I'm paying close attention that the crypto winner could be here. If you'll, I have noticed that there is an influx of uh, used cards coming to the market. And what I find them to be interesting is it's all those high wattage cards, like the 580, the Polaris cards. I'm seeing a lot of Polaris cards at the market. And my thought is, is should I sell those Polaris cards now? Use that money to buy some NVIDIA GPUs? Or should I sell them to buy more 6600 XT? 
what, what what's your plans with the Polaris cards? Are you building more Polaris card rigs? I'd be curious. I those are the question marks for me. I can make it through a crypto winner. I'm not sure I want to make it with with the Polaris card, unless I can find a way to get those voltages down. Because I don't I don't find them. Yes, they're profitable right now, but I think they're going to be the first cards that you're going to see profitability really go down. And the price of them on the market is going to be really cheap. So do you sell them now and get out with those cards? Or do you wait? Do you wait a little longer? Boy, that's that's the question. Do you wait? People are trying to get four and five hundred dollars a piece for those cards right now. In fact, there's a there's a local guy that's selling out. He had mostly Polaris cards in my local area here in Ohio. He's trying to get out of those cards. I thought about the other day. I was right close to the edge of contacting him and just offering him price for all of them. But man, he might be the smarter one than me. Is he? That's the question. Tell me down in the comments. What do you think? Do you think the Polaris cards are going to make it through the crypto winner? Or do you stack those bad dudes up and you just wait? They're the only ones I got the serious question about. But I'm getting too long-winded here, guys. Um, we are going to... I do want to start getting into some videos about how to trade crypto. We have been doing a lot of work around here. We're trying to get things set up. Got a lot of stuff going on in the background that uh, is going to be exciting for the channel moving forward. So stay tuned to that. You know, if you like what you see, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. When we get to a thousand subscribers, we are going to be doing some giveaways. Um, I've, I've even considered doing some giveaways before then. Um, I've got some thoughts in my mind. That could be exciting. All right, boys, that's it for today. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one.